about the rest of you, but I find I waver these days between waking up in the morning and being absolutely overwhelmed by the beauty of the world and thankful for another new day. And looking at the day ahead and thinking, I can't do this one more day. I think that's what we mean when we talk about the craziness of this COVID situation. Our moods and our ability to cope can change so quickly and waver so greatly. Today's reflection is short because I'm actually going to the office for the first time in three months to straighten up a bit, to grab some books that I need for my reading and my sermons. And I'm having my first backyard meeting this afternoon, of course, with social distancing in place. And with all of that comes a certain degree of worrying and anxiety, having been at home for so long in the safety of my own environment. But I look at the sunshine, I look at the beauty of even my tiny little garden, and I am so thankful that the weather is so wonderful, that the sunshine is so bright, that the days are so long that we are able to be outdoors to enjoy our surroundings rather than being cocooned inside. So I hope that even in the midst of all that's happening to us, all that's going on in the world around us, that we will try our best to remember that it still is a beautiful world. And even in the midst of it all, we have reason to rejoice and be glad.